Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to be installing brakes on the Club Car President axle. This axle goes on the $100 golf cart that we're building right now. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. All right, so the last video we uploaded, we were able to replace the bearing and the seal in the axle here, the outer axle bearings. I put it back in place and all that, that's good. So in order to put the brakes on, I went ahead and pulled the uh, C-clip out of the axle housing there. We need to work on this about putting brakes on. Once the brakes are applied, the brake cable is pulling this little lever forward. Now what happens when this lever is pulled forward, on the inside of the brake drum here, this part here rocks outward, kind of like a seesaw. Watch this. See how that works? Pretty simple. This is called an adjuster, an auto adjuster. It's pretty cool. So see how the teeth are facing one way? On the opposite side of the rear end, the teeth are facing the opposite way. And you have a screw in here. So when turning to the right, we're tightening it up. This auto adjuster fits into this little slot here. There's gonna be a washer that fits over this right here before it goes into place. So what happens is, once you press on the brake pedal and you pull that lever towards the golf cart, so once you press on the brake pedal, this is pushing that little gear out. Now when you push that little gear out, what happens is the screw here is on the bottom of the brake shoe. And what it does is it pushes the brake shoe away. So as the pad wears down, this right here is pressed outward, okay? Allowing you to stop better each and every time. Basically what we're doing here is I took some red scotch bright pad or I started with it already. I'm cleaning six different spots. Got a spot here, a spot here, and a spot there. We've got a spot on this side here, in the middle, and on the top. Now each one of these spots are about an inch long. Now if these are rusted really bad, I would substitute like this red scotch bright pad for some sandpaper. But this isn't bad at all. I've seen a lot worse. I also went up and scuffed this right here area here. In this area right here, I scuffed it in here some. And I took this lever here, I scuffed it on the top and the bottom of that area there. Next thing we need to do is apply a little bit of grease to it. We're gonna put just a little bit here on those six spots. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on the slide here, on the front and the back of the slide. I'll put some grease around this point here where the, the, the lever pivots at, we're gonna do that as well. And we're gonna put some on the adjuster once we goes into the side here. So this is the grease I'm gonna be using here. That's actually probably too much on those two spots there, but I wanna make sure there's enough. That slides much easier now than when it was stock. We're just gonna work it back and forth some to work that grease inside there as well. Now before I put the adjuster in place, I like to reset it, put it all the way back down to, uh, you know, where it probably was factory at the lowest setting like this right here, not too tight. I did wipe a little bit of uh, grease on there don't forget to put your washer on it 
before you slot it into place. All right, so my hands feel just a little, I feel like there's a little bit of grease on my hands. So with that being said, I went and got me some new gloves to put on before we start handling the brake shoes. You definitely don't want to get any kind of grease onto the brake shoes. So be sure to put on some new gloves at this step or to wash your hands properly. So I'll start off by saying there's a proper way to put the brake shoes on. There's a proper orientation. This is the proper orientation. This is the top right of when you're facing and looking at it. You can see the 17T and it's upside down. The other side matches just like this. On the bottom side, this is the right side. This is the left side. It's gonna go on just like that. We bought all new brake components from Amazon and I'll place links to everything in the description below that I used. With that being said, we got new springs, new pins with new clips. We're gonna be using all of those in this video. Now in order to get started, these are gonna be the components we're gonna put on the left hand side or this side of the axle here. We got our brake shoe, we got our clip, and we got our pin. Let me show you exactly how it goes on. You can first take this pin, stick it down here from the back side, just like so. Next, we're gonna take our brake shoe. It's gonna fit into that little slot there. You see there on the adjuster, the top is gonna fit into this slot up here. Once we do that, we're gonna make sure that our pin slides through that middle section there. The next thing that's gonna go on is the clip. This pretty much holds everything in place. Now, so you can take the clip, compress it, the pin is gonna come straight out. We're gonna to have to turn the pin and the clip is gonna hold the pin. And there it is. It's now in place. We can actually take the needle nose pliers and we don't have to push in with the screwdriver. We should just be able to turn this and hold this clip like so. This right here is in and this brake shoe is in as well. Now in order to put the other shoe where it goes to and hold it in place where we're trying to put the pin in place, we're gonna go ahead and attach the springs to both of these brake shoes. This is gonna be the top spring and it's gonna go in from the outside like so. This is going to be the bottom spring. And this is how it's gonna go on right here. The bottom's gonna slide into place like so and the top is gonna to go to the other spring there. This is gonna go in here. The reason we're not doing the other way, we want to spring away from all of this mechanism here. Now the springs are both on. Now we did this right here so we can go ahead and put the pin and the clip in last right here so we don't have to hold this in place while we're fighting the clip. So the brakes are now installed. All right, the next step to do is to place the axle back into place here. Be sure to line up the splines inside the housing here with the axle. You can see here it's not wanting to go all the way in place. I guess you could take a hammer and tap on this right here. I'm gonna take the air chisel and drive it in like that. Once you have the axle in place, go ahead and put the uh, C-clip back into the axle housing. Now before we go ahead and put the 
drum back on to the axle. You want to go take some brake cleaner and spray it out and get any kind of the factory grease that was used for shipping away from the drum itself before you slide up in the place and try to use it.